hello viewers welcome back to the channel sampurna then in this particular video i am talking going to talk about the simulation of a resistive capacitive firing circuit which is also known as a rc cap firing circuit for the ser triggering in the previous video i have already told about the, what is our uh, resistive firing circuit so you can please visit my channel page and uh, playlist and you can also subscribe the uh, channel and also press the bell icon for the further upload of the uh, projects and uh, other technical videos and uh, you can also uh, find the links in the description box of what uh, previous uh, done projects based on the piece by so please uh, uh, keep visiting uh, the playlist for the further uploads also and now uh, today i'm going to talk about that what is our resistive capacitive firing circuit for ser triggering so uh, let me show you that which this particular uh, circuit I am going to consider for the RC firing circuit. It is a very basic uh, RC firing circuit. Uh, here, uh, this SCR is actually uh, we want to trigger. Uh, here, this one is a step down AC supply along with the load. This external circuit is known as the power circuit because ultimately you want to apply your SCR as a switch for the operation of this external circuit, and because uh, here you can. Uh, have a high voltage supply or low voltage supply depending upon the rating of your SCR and uh, but here uh, actually in uh, mostly we used to uh, supply the step down supply so that uh, our SCR uh, can cannot uh, uh, like uh, damage and uh, we have to apply the source as per the uh, rating of the SCR and uh, the load is connected in series with it this particular circuit which is also connected across the supply is known as the control circuit because ultimately this uh, combination of diode resistance and capacitance circuit is going to provide the triggering uh, pulses uh, for the SCR and uh, here in this particular circuit unlike the resistive circuit of firing we have connected a reverse diode over here and a forward diode is also D1 is here this diode D1 is actually ensuring the unidirectional current flow of the gate current uh, in this direction and this D2 is specifically installed to provide the charging of your capacitor during the negative alteration of the AC supply and these uh, uh, resistances, one fixed resistances and one uh, uh, variable resistances is applied over here to actually change the triggering sequences of the SCR or different different firing angles it, it will provide uh, for a better understanding of that how this circuit is working you need to uh, refer your textbooks or the, the other study materials if I'll get the time I will make the complete detail uh, circuit operation of this particular uh, circuit but uh, in a very brief detail I can tell you that during the negative alteration this D2 will become forward bias D1 will become reverse bias so your capacitor will charge by this circuit once the uh, it will charge to the maximum negative voltage uh, further when your uh, ac supply voltage goes below that uh, maximum value of the negative voltage d2 will also become reverse bias d1 will also become reverse bias so in that case your capacitor will hold some negative that maximum negative volt value and further uh, once the positive alteration will start your uh, this particular circuit uh, uh, source load r1 r2 will come into the action to charge this capacitance okay and you can set this value of r2 with the different different values uh, its charging rate will be different and once it will reach up to the gate to cathode threshold voltage d1 will become forward bias and this capacitor will provide the triggering pulse to the scr and the moment it will get the triggering pulse uh, this uh, scr will turn on and we lose the control of the firing circuit and this uh, will remain turned on unless this particular uh, outer circuit uh, current is go below the holding current when again the negative alteration will come and then your uh, because uh, uh, it uh, your positive voltage will goes to the zero value then goes to the negative value then uh, accordingly your current will goes below the holding current so automatically your SCR will turn off for the uh, derivation of the different parameters if we consider that uh, in the range of a power frequency uh, empirically if you have a zero output voltage that means your uh, capacitor is going to charge in such a way that it will uh, uh, provide the zero output voltage at the triggering of the SCR then you have a relation RC is equal to 1.3 T is the time period of the supply upon 2 which is almost equal to 4 by omega that is angular frequency of the 
uh, supply voltage that is 4 on uh, 4 upon the 100 pi so from this you can have a uh, one relation and from the this circuit of a uh, source load r1 r2 and c uh, depending upon the uh, kvl analysis we have a uh, uh, certain uh, uh, relationship which uh, which will be uh, which provide us the value of the r also over here so based on this we can design our circuit uh, for the certain uh, particular uh, scr and uh, its uh, data sheet you can refer so that you can decide these values also now quickly we will going to move uh, to uh, simulate this circuit on the piece by so let's open the capture cis first okay now go to the file menu new project i have already told that how to make all this new schematic and project project rc firing okay analog mixed ready i have already given the directory so okay create blank project okay now your schematic window will be open now here you have a place part option so you have to take v sign option for the source your source will be here okay now you have to take one scr which is 2n1595 i am going to use you can use any scr which is available in the library but mostly people use 2n1595 it is your desire that what scr you want to use you can use different different scrs and you can actually uh, have the different values we required a resistance r analog okay uh first we can put a resistance over here then we can say that one uh resistance for variation okay now we uh, one more resistance we required for the load so for that i can place it over here somewhere okay uh now we required a capacitance c analog we have to type c over here rotate it by control r let uh, place it somewhere here okay now we required the diode here i am going to use d1 n4002 diode uh, diode different diodes have different ratings so that you can decide as per your requirement at what diode you required one diode which is provide the unidirectionality of the current uh sorry actually i left that one so another diode you can rotate uh, it is for the negative alteration charging of the capacitor now the diodes are there now i think all the components are there so you we can place the connection click here move it and connect connect to the outer circuit first of all so that you get idea that how to connect it your capacitor is connected like this one okay your this particular scr getting trigger trigger here okay and your resistance is connected okay like this now we can uh, one more connection is required between r1 and r2 okay now uh, we can uh, rename this are r1 and r2 is a correct name so i am not going to change here i can change this name to the load so that it will be clear to you the capacitance you can give any name c1 d1 d2 is also correct name we can give the values 100 ohm stabilizing resistance and this can be uh, the one kilo ohm further we can change this value uh, uh, considering this as a variable resistance okay now we have to give this v off value of the source zero we don't require any offset voltage here we are applying a step down 24 volt rms uh, ac supply with the 50 hertz okay and the load i can give 150 ohm okay so this is all about your uh, connection of the circuit where you want to observe your uh, uh, results so across the load you want to observe so have a voltage uh, differential marker place is polarity positive and 
negative okay and also if we want to measure the that what is my capacity voltage across the capacitance later we will see uh, further uh, for this new project we have to set the new simulation profile so we will go to the new simulation profile give a name project rc firing as p means uh, simulation profile you can give any name as per your desire for clarification i have given sp create and as soon as you create uh, you will get this kind of a dialog box over here okay uh, so you can actually get here you can decide how much time it has to run for 100 millisecond because your one time period of the supply is 20 millisecond uh, steps are 0 0.0001 okay for the smooth operation and you can apply it okay now you can run this particular project by going into the piece pipe menu run option or f11 also if you run you will find that oh it is not going to run why it is not going to run you can see that uh, here we haven't connected any ground so that's why it is not uh, uh, creating any uh, project here we are getting some errors like if we miss the ground we are getting these many errors and here in the report it is showing that everything every node is floating 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 i told you many times in the previous videos that you need to connect a ground otherwise it will not get a reference node for the calculation so you need to connect ground Coincidentally, in this video, I am able to show you that what happens if you do not connect your ground. Now, we have to go piece by run. Now, we can see that after the simulation, after the connection of the ground, we are getting this kind of a waveform of the triggering. Uh, it is well below the 90 degree, but our concern is to uh, understand that RC firing circuit is providing the triggering uh, in the range of uh, 0 to 180 degree ideally, but practically it is from 2 degree to 180 degree or something and depends upon that what resistances you are actually applying for the charging and discharging of the capacitor. So let's uh, change some values there and we want to apply, see that whether it goes beyond the 90 degree or not. So let go to the schematic now let put me the value like uh, i can put sorry 1.5 kilo ohm okay let run it uh, okay still it is having a very small change so we have to change it considerable uh, value okay one more thing actually why it is happening because we haven't given the value of the capacitance it is very small it is one nano so we have to change it sorry i forgot in between uh, in the quickness the value is 5 micro and uh, 5 u now we have to run it piece spice now again you can set this value to the 1 kilo ohm because previously we haven't given the value of uh, 5 micro run the capacitance value has to be 5 micro now you can see that it is exactly uh, triggering the uh, SVR at 90 degree near about 90 degree okay can it uh, goes beyond the 90 degree let's see okay here we can increase the value 1.5 kilo ohm that means 1500 ohms okay now we'll go for the run option simulate yes it is going beyond the 90 degree this first if we ignore because it is a not a proper operation uh, in the very first cycle after that it is every cycle is uh, triggered beyond the 90 degree and you can calculate you can see this particular waveform in the proper way when you make it thick okay this is the waveform okay beyond the 90 degree can we go near to the 180 degree let's see let's see let's put this value 2 kilo ohm okay now run it 
now you can see it is almost triggered fully there is no positive alteration that means you are getting a complete 180 degree operation of the triggering okay if we ignore this first one because it is the uh, very the first very first time it is not triggering correctly but on the rest of the cycles it is uh, 180 degree now if we want to like uh, reduce value by like 1.7 then again we can see that it is beyond the 90 degree going towards the 180 degree okay now if we want to also see that what is my capacitor voltage so that we can see uh, by placing the voltage differential marker here here now uh, can we go to the simulation window here we can see that okay let me make it uh, bold so that you can observe it uh, very easily now make it also thicker also yeah here you can see that and if we also include the trace of the supply voltage uh, let's see that what is my supply voltage okay now let me change the color of the supply voltage so that you can be able to observe it clearly okay now this is now you can see that up to this negative value of the supply voltage yellow waveform uh, this capacitor is charging up to the negative voltage then as soon as the uh, positive alteration will start uh, it will going to charge in the positive direction by, with the help of r1 and r2 and if you change the value of r2 then this rate of charging will be changed as soon as it will reach up to the threshold voltage of the scr it will fire the scr and you will get this green color output waveform of across the load uh, because ultimately your supply voltage is this one at this moment when it is triggered so you are getting this kind of a, a voltage across the output you can measure all these things by using the uh, toggle cursor option or you can also count your division because one alteration is of 10 millisecond and it is having the five divisions so each division is of two milliseconds so you can see here one two three four almost four uh, divisions are there one point lesser than uh, four divisions so we can say that uh, two four six eight near about 7.9 millisecond is the uh, uh, triggering instant of this one and you can put into the formula like uh, alpha is equal to omega t where omega is your 2 pi f that means uh, f is 50 hertz and it will become 100 pi and for the t you can put 7.9 millisecond so 100 pi into 7.9 millisecond means your uh, uh, alpha value will be there if you uh, solve this particular uh, equation that 100 pi into 7.9 millisecond so you uh, in this way you can get the operation of your scr also you can put your toggle cursor over here at this instant actually so many waveforms are there yeah so you can see that it is after the uh, this 20 millisecond so if we consider it is 7.642 exactly 7.642 milliseconds okay so you have to multiply this 7.642 into 100 pi you will get your alpha value okay this is all about your uh, firing circuit uh, rc firing circuit of the scr i also uh, made uh, make a video for the r firing circuit which is available in my playlist you can visit there and you can uh, watch other uh, related projects also so this is all about the rc firing circuit i hope you have understood it very well and please uh, subscribe the channel and press bell icon for the further uploads and notifications and thank you for this